let's talk in short what is physics and what is science because physics is the crown of the sciences of natural sciences okay uh, physics mechanics chemistry and biology are the major parts of natural sciences while mathematics is a tool and the language of science then what is science Contrary to common opinion, science is not a, selected, uh, a settled collection of facts and theoretical descriptions of natural laws and phenomena. Science is a way and method of learning about the world around us, how it works and what we may expect from our actions. In some sense, science is like a river. It is changing, getting in time wider and wider. Science is based on facts and experiments, but explanations of the facts that are theories and hypotheses are results of discussions and agreements between uh, professional scientists. Some theories uh, are accepted by the majority of scientists and some are not. Of course, there are already settled explanations and theories, but science is more about getting new and deeper knowledge about nature. You may think that science and physics in particular is something boring and not much connected to your everyday life. It is not so. To learn about physics and science, you have to learn about the lives of the most prominent scientists. Okay, at this slide you see the branches of science. You can separate science. Uh, of course, it's a little bit artificial uh, to applied science, to social science and to natural science. Natural science is obviously the main part and the major part of science. And then nat natural sciences can be separated again uh, the, to chemistry, physics, biology, mechanics, I would say, and earth sciences and space sciences. But again, nature do don't have this separation. You have to always remember that nature is all united. Okay, one good example of the science is electricity, alternating current and electromagnetic waves. We use electricity for cooking, illumination, mobile phones and electrical motors. We have to be grateful to Nikola Tesla, who invented the alternating electrical current, generators, transformers, motors, radio and even robots. You may learn about troubles and tragedies, uh, tragedies in his life his struggle, injustice and achievements. And so you may learn about the lives of other great people behind every modern day technology. Physics was never boring. As any kind of human activity, some parts of the so-called official science can be corrupted and misleading. In many cases, humans do not accept uh, the greatest inventions and ideas that may change our life for the better. You probably know that Nikola Tesla was proposing to produce free energy and free electrical power, but it was never accepted by humanity. Nikola Tesla died poor, completely alone and forgotten by society. I am a professional scientist. Of course, I cannot compare myself with such a great person like Nikola Tesla. But in my life, there were some achievements and inventions that were not accepted by official science too. In particular, during my PhD studies, 13, 39 years ago, I demonstrated in experiments a new physical phenomena that may help to understand how sun works. So this we see the Nikola Tesla with his uh, huge transformer, which uh, should uh, suck any uh, energy from electrical field around the earth. This was free energy. This was the way to give uh, humans free energy, free electrical power, but it was never accepted. Okay, then this uh, what we see about our sun. Our sun uh, is a huge size and uh, our earth is in comparison with sun, it is such scale only, you see. Okay. Uh, let's uh, uh, go a little bit further and then uh, return to the slides. As a result of this research, I got my scientific degree, I, I got my PhD, yes. But, however, my discovery was not accepted by society. 
let's talk about uh, briefly in, about this. Our sun is considered by the majority of professional scientists as a large plasma ball with some nuclear reactions going in the center of the star. Meanwhile, our hypo hypothesis was claiming that the sun consists mostly of condensed matter and the thermal nuclear reactions are going not so far from its outer surface. In model experiments, I have demonstrated that periodic structures may appear on, this, on surfaces of liquids and solids at conditions of intense evaporation to vacuum if there is a source of heating beneath the sun's surface. Okay, you see, this is uh, important. With a good telescope, people may see that the sun's surface has a granular appearance with a typical granular size about 1,500 km. Let's come to this, uh, the, the, what we can see. This is a granular structure of, this, of the sun's surface. You see, it has some periodicity. It is some, ha, has some typical size of these granules. And then, uh, if we, with telescope, we can see, okay, this is about 1,500 km size, typically, yes? Okay, according to my experiments, this is an indication that our sun, not a ball of gas or plasma, but rather a drop of hot liquid. My experiments are not the only evidence in favor of this view. People may see transverse waves on the sun's surface after an impact with a comet. It is also known. There are, uh, you can check internet, you can see the videos. Was this hypothesis accepted that our sun is, is liquid, a drop of uh, some liquid, not a gas, uh, not a gas but a uh, drop of liquid? Not. Instead, international teams of scientists are wasting billions and billions of American dollars to build a thermonuclear reactor with hot plasma inside without any success for almost 80 years. While, in my opinion, we have to focus our research on thermonuclear reactions in condensed matter. This is the way to get unlimited source of power. Unlimited! Okay, and it was rejected. It was our view was rejected. Okay, this is the some experiments of so-called cold fusion. Cold fusion is a generation of thermonuclear energy uh, uh, when two uh, hydrogen atoms uh, are fusing, fusing, to getting together and producing uh, helium and other other uh, atoms. It works, it works, but again, this was kind of suppressed. This research was rejected, suppressed. It is not our experiments, but this is the way, uh, I believe that this is the way we have to go. We have to invest money, not to build in this huge thermonuclear reactor with plasma inside, but doing this small, re relatively cheap devices to investigate thermonuclear reactions inside solid bodies solid bodies, okay? Okay, another example. There is no friction in bone joints, almost no, no friction, in bone joints such as knees, hips, etc. of humans and other mammals. So you know, you can, you can see it, yeah, there is no friction, almost no friction. So we may follow nature and produce friction-free engines, ball bearings and other mechanisms. I have proposed advanced engine oils that reduce wear 50 times, not 50%, 50 times, and you reduce friction so that from 10 to almost 20% of fuel can be saved in engines. So an engine or ball bearing would serve 10 times longer with proposed lubricants. A lot of energy to produce new, en uh, new engines and machines can be saved, not to mention fuel. Was this my idea accepted? I tried to get uh, funding, I, uh, I tried to get attention of other people. Was it accepted? Not at all. Yet I hope that my ideas will be used in future. A lesson from my experience is, is such that a sole inventor 
without support of an agency with huge money reserves cannot change technologies, cannot improve our life. One example of a, such an agency with unlimited money reserves is a military industrial complex. So, if an invention can be used to kill humans more efficiently and cheaper, it will be supported. It will be supported. We see it every day. Some people blame an inventor because he or she wants to get rich from inventions. Instead, they believe that the, the invention has to be disclosed to public for free. However, it doesn't work so. I tried. I tried. I tried with uh, other my inventions. I have invented, for example, improvements for stick welding that allowed me to work with thin metal profiles, to connect uh, thin metal profiles. And I enjoyed it a lot at my workshop. I tried to, I, I was getting to some exhibition, trying to contact producers uh, of the welding machines. They were not interested. Not interested to implement the, uh, the improvement even for free. Even despite it was very simple to, to make. I did it for, for, uh, for my welding machines. I, I used it. I enjoyed it. But again, humans are such, okay? Humans are, don't think that everybody will love you if you uh, uh, make it some invention which helps uh, to make life better. Not at all. Not at all. I don't complain. I had fun in developing and using my inventions. It is really very exciting to see how ideas work. And I have to say that in my professional career, I made quite a number of exciting discoveries, right? So I can talk about this for, for days, maybe. So, learning physics may not, uh, may not make you rich, but for sure it will make you smarter. Next, what I want to teach you is to use mathematics and computers as tools. And okay, then I believe that only few Thai students may become professional scientists. But I wish to teach you all of you to think scientifically. It means to think independently and critically and solve problems. We live in a very special times when anybody can get access to almost any information by internet. And please mind that creativity will be better appreciated in future while some simple jobs may disappear. I am very optimistic about the future. The only problem for me is to live long enough to see, to see it, to see the better future. This is why my last project is related to lifespan extension. Okay, I want to live long enough to see the better future. I believe that humans can live up to a thousand years long. Up to a thousand years. Okay, I have to prove it. I have to prove it. Now I'm 65. I want to, to, to prove it. I want to live 1,000 years. So in 1,000 years, I will prove it. <laughs> it is not physics. It is biology. But again, nature does not have boundaries. It is, there is no separation between uh, physics and biology and chemistry. It is all nature. If you uh, study physics, you sooner or later, you will come to biology or in chemistry. This is all united. So, of course, it will take a while to prove that I am right, but I do it already and uh, I, I, I spent two years on this project and I got some knowledge and uh, I, I use it. I use my, my, my own recommendations and I see how my body is getting stronger and uh, healthier and I believe I am getting younger in time. time. But again, I, I have to prove it. Okay, and meanwhile, there are some fish, for example, uh, that are not getting old. They can live forever, technically speaking, but the only problem, they grow, 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 and they grow so big, they cannot uh, get uh, enough food, and they die of starvation, not of aging, not of uh, degradation, but because they cannot get enough food. Yeah? So it is, it is working. It is not something very special. You, if you understand how aging works, you can fight it. You can reverse it. Okay, this is. okay, then again, what else I want to teach you? It is to use scientific method. Scientific method, it is like you state a problem 
What, what you want to investigate? What, 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 the, what uh, the problem you have to solve? And then you come to some idea, to the idea and hypothesis. And to get to the hypothesis, first you have to learn about state of art. You have to investigate what uh, people know already about the phenomena or this problem. Then next, you think, okay, I have the hypothesis, this may, may work so so, and you uh, design experiment. And in experiment, you check how your hypothesis works. If it doesn't work, then, so you collect the data, you analyze the data, you draw a conclusion, and you think, okay, hypothesis, r r right or wrong? If it is right, you continue. You continue, you grow your knowledge. If it is not, you just, okay, it is, it is wrong uh, hypothesis, you generate a new one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is, you go in uh, like spiral, and you go uh, in circles, but you go also up, 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 you get in, you get in deeper, deeper knowledge, okay? So, and, uh, okay, let's discuss a little bit some questions to you uh, about, what what you got from my presentation okay then some questions please what areas of natural sciences do you know okay that's please tell me this and the next question in what area of science you are you personally interested in yeah because we 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 all different people some people are interested in arts and some people are interested in biology it is okay all okay so just decide what do you want to uh, to investigate what, what is uh, the most exciting for you. Again, a question, is official science always true? Because sometimes you say, oh, this is science, you have to believe it. No, science is not settled collection of facts, okay? It is a way to learn about nature, it's a way. And then, okay, what is physics investigating? What, what is related to physics? Okay, just give me the idea. Again, I told you that physics is the crown of the all natural sciences, but what exactly physics is investigating? Okay, if you are interested in contributing to any area of science, what is important to do as a first step? What do you think to do? Okay, then this all, this is short introduction, we can talk a long way along about this. We can uh, uh, go deeper in natural laws and some solving problems. Again, the same as learning English, learning sciences is, uh, is you have to use it. You have to use it and you have to use it. It is like you uh, make some project for yourself and uh, some hypothesis. And if you go to this way, this spiral, and then you you have uh, you have the problem. You are learning about the, the state of art. You are learning about all the sense. This is the way to go. You have to use it. If you just try to remember the, some natural words and descriptions, it just doesn't work. You have to use it. Use it or lose it. Okay, that's all. That's all. This is all my presentation. Thank you very much.